G'day, my name's Darrell Webb. Today we're going to have a look at the Barracuda Pro Army Tech Searchlight slash Hunting Light. Um, it's the Pro version 2. But uh, we're going to do it a little bit different because Ground Force International, the guy who, people who supply me with those thermals to do reviews, they're launching to market some Army Tech stuff. Um, so they were nice enough to send me not one, but two of these great hunting court torch searchlight kits and um, one we're going to do a giveaway on. So yeah, a little bit different. Um, the, it's, the giveaway is really easy. I'll explain it at the end how you can win it. But um, yeah, big thank you to Army Tech and um, Ground Force International. And um, yeah, watch this video. We're going to go over some of its specs. I'll try and keep the video pretty short, but uh, then I'll explain how you can win one of these. Anyway, on that note, let's get into it. All right, um, I'll open this up in a second and show you what you get, but we'll go over some of its basic specs here. Um, so... Army Tech is, I'm trying to research it a bit, they're a Canadian company, um, They their main big things that they claim the fame are is that the components are all USA or Japanese made, and it's assembled in their own factory, um, they have their own factory anyway, so um, some of the big things on it, it's a, uh, it has a reflector, it's a 5 degree spot with 40 degree spill, it's 160,000 candelas, um, it's run time, it's stabilised full 100% output for an hour, um, so it's runtime minimum max is one hour at full and 500 days at uh, minimum. Um, it's waterproof and submersible 50 metres for five hours and impact resistance 30 metres. Um, the basic uh, stuff on it is there. It's, um, it's a Cree XHP 35 high intensity LED. It has two times turbo modes, three times main, main modes, two times fire play modes and two times strobe modes. You can actually sort of change it and set this torch up how you want to do it. Its length is 245mm. The head diameter is 60 mil. The body is 25.4 mil, so a proper one inch. It weighs 259 grams and it runs on either two 18650s, um, four CRR123As, or you can put the short tube on it and you can run it on one 18650 or two CR123As. Um, some of the things that they sort of go on about there, it's um, it's uh, it's uh, they aim at military and law enforcement stuff. But in the packet here, there is a, uh, a a holster, a, 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 another barrel that you see you can run at one time 18650, a lanyard, um, a cigar grip, spare spare um, rear button, a belt clip and some o-rings and whatnot. But anyway, let's show what actually comes in this little kit because this is all sort of, as I said, I've had this out using it, but uh, you've got some instructions there for a battery charger. It comes with a really neat little battery charger. It also does power bank function and it's um, it also does like... Uh, double a batteries and that will charge as well um, and then of course there is the actual user manual and, and whatnot for the uh our barracuda pro v2 all right we'll move them out of the way um there's also a firearms mount um i have mounted up in a firearm it's actually a good quality one this one it's a lot better than some of the cheap ones i've seen in there is also a small barrel so you can run the light in small configuration you can make it a very short torch um there is the lanyard belt clip and some o-rings there's a charging lead for the uh, battery charger and there is in this kit so obviously a holster the holster's quite nice and there is a remote tail switch as well so you can for when your firearms mount it they brag about this thing being rated up to any any firearm so uh they uh, as i said those big drop resistance numbers and um and waterproof numbers are pretty high they're, they're sort of going all out and that is the torch itself so we'll go over some of the torch sort of features. So it has that nice big deep dish, so it gets that 800 meters. Um, at, it's a 1850 lumens, uh, LED lumens, it says on the uh, packet. And um, you can remove the tail cap. And this one was supplied with some uh, Army Tech 35 milliamp, 3500 milliamp hour lithium ion batteries. Runs two of them, or as I said, you can run it in the short mode. You just remove this center piece and run the, the short piece, and all of a sudden you've got a very compact thrower then. Um, you can set the light up in different ways to give you strobes and um, much more different uh, outlight settings, but uh, basically what it is, you can um, turn it on and it'll just hit its turbo flat out, and that's the way I use it. But if you turn it a bit it drops down to a preset whatever you got it set at so you can see that then if you touch it it'll rotate through the different brightnesses so there's like firefly modes in it which are extremely dim so you can put it like low mid high firefly whatever you want but then just tighten it back up and it's back to turbo so you can have turbo and just with a slight twist of the head it drops down to uh 
whatever you got set at. So, so I go there, for instance, on low, and if I go turn it, it's on turbo. If I go back, it goes back to low. And um, so you can pretty quickly set it up for the way you want. Okay, so we're out here with the Army, the Army Tech Barracuda Pro. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go, we're not going to go with low light settings because everything out here is really far. So for this scene we can see out to, uh, we see out there to the right, that there is about 90 metres. Anyway, as you can see it's a good divine spot and it's hitting it very easy. Let's swing out of here. This one was just a bit over 200. As you can see it's doing it well, very easy. A uh, good amount of spill but mostly it's about the spot with these types of lights. So let's turn the camera a bit more and we'll face down a bit further. Okay, these ones out here, there's actually just a little point down there. You can see those trees along the bottom there. They are out at uh, a little bit over 300. Uh, as you can see, still really well defined. You can make that out easy. And then if we look down as far as I can see here, which is there's a, this piece of waterway here goes around the bend to the right. The trees on the opposite side, to the left hand side they're about 500 metres and to the right hand side they're about 600 metres. So I'm not well how, how sure well you can see that but with my eye I'm picking that up quite well. Um, I, if there's anything reflected down like eyes and out I see it very easy but I can make out the whites of the tree trunks and things like that. I can see the bank quite clearly. I can see yeah as I said the trees and um, and where the trees end and whatnot. So that's, um, that gives you a pretty good idea of, as I said right in from about 80 metres looking over water all the way out, let's keep on moving along out to sort of 300 metres, all the way out to five to 600 metres out there very impressive okay uh, we'll do some pros and cons and a conclusion uh, I'll start off with cons pretty simple, there's not really too much in the way of cons um, the only thing is now a lot of people are very used to being able to charge the light directly without having to take the batteries out um, and this one you have to remove the batteries and put them in a separate charger um, that's about the only con I can find but that also leads me into the pros um, the good thing about this is it's very easy you can buy good quality 18650 batteries reasonably cheap so the fact that you can take them out and switch them around yourself they're not a customized battery or anything like that is handy so you can go out with two or three sets and you can uh, you know go out and use it to your heart's content and not have to worry about your batteries going flat because every time they do you just swap in another set um, but on those pros uh, okay so things I like about it it's a proper one inch grip there like it's actually so all your different firearms mounts when you mount this type, these types of light you really need that one inch probably grip because all the metal ones they all are suited for one inch so um, this one does it you can grab it right up there close to the head it's pretty good it's very close to its balance point and it is a true one inch uh, body uh, everything else I like about it that's um, it's all sort of aluminium construction with aluminium bezel and whatnot really highly polished reflector and a nice looking LED and it gives you that really um, I compared this to a couple of other torches I have that are in that 800 meter range and this one actually seems brighter so I'm not sure if someone's telling porkies or this one actually performs better than what it says on the packet because I'm hitting out 800 meters no worries with this um, definitely it's just the, the hot spots very nice it's got enough spill to make it as a normal torch um, the surface coating in that it was strange when I first seen it because there's no knurling but it's actually got almost like a chalkboard finished in the uh, I'm not sure what it is the, the way they've anodized it somehow it's, it's got like a chalkboard finish to it um, it doesn't really leave fingerprints or marks but it's, uh, it's very grippy and even when it's cold you got no worries it's not sort of slipping out your hand and um, and that's about that um, I like that you can go quickly between it's really simple and you've got one button to turn it on and you can just go quickly you know loosen it off and you've got your other setting and then back and you're back to your turbo you're not constantly going through mem through uh, menus as I said there is also a different mode you can I think you click this 16 times to hold it on the last the light will blink once and it gives you a whole different set of features again and you can go through so you can actually customize this up for different uh, turbo modes different fly modes strobe and things like that so it's very very versatile in how you want to use it and how you can set it up all right uh, conclusion yeah look um, the whole actual kit I'm not sure I've got a rough idea what I think it's going to be worth so I won't talk prices but let's say it's in that uh, it's getting around the $300 mark I'm going to guess is where it's going to be at I think but uh, don't hold me to that I don't know because it's only so new to market but uh, everything you get in the packet and how well it's actually worked um, it's probably comparable to some of the other brands that I, that I review and it's uh, it's got good output 
um, and, and functions very nicely. Um, I've stuck this on so far, I've fired it on a 308 and I've fired it on a 223, not that the 223 has got a lot of recoil, um, but on 308, that clamp and everything that come with it held up fine. Uh, and the 308's a bit of a lightweight uh, deer hunting rifle too that I fired on, so that it kicks quite hard for a 308. And it's hanging on there well, it, the, the mount doesn't move ring like that, it stays really good. So um, yeah, would I recommend it? Yes, definitely I would. Uh, would I buy one? Yes, yeah, that price range for that kit, um, uh, it, with everything you sort of need in it, yeah, it's right up there with some of the much more bigger known brands that uh, I've played with before, but um, yeah, I really like it, and yeah, I'd recommend it for sure. No hesitations at all. Um, the the drop proof, you know, 30 metres and 50 metres underwater and things like that, I think that just goes to show how much um, how much confidence they have in their, uh, in their light. It's also got a 10-year warranty too, a no-hassle warranty. Anyway, um, I guess we'll go on to how you can win your one of these. All right, so I did say you can win one of these. Um, you can definitely win one of these. I'll tell you how to do that in a second because what I just wanted to explain what it is. It's a Grand Force International. They're a um, they're a wholesale distributor. They got you know dealers all over the country, and um, they want to get a bit of brand awareness now for Army Tech because you know they're now bringing these into the country. Um, a couple of things I wanted to sort of note on there, just to give out, it's a massive 1500 OTF lumen brightness. On the packet it says 18, 6, 1800 something uh, uh, lumens, uh, but uh, LED lumens. Uh, industry first 10 year hassle free warranty, free repairs for 10 years with proof of purchase. 2 year warranty on accessories such as batteries, chargers, switches and connectors. Huge run times, 1 hour at maximum mode, up to 22 hours in the middle setting. The highest IPX, IP68 dust and waterproof rating. Guaranteed to stand a recall of any gauge firearm and up to 30 meter fall. Available in white or warm white LED because I know a lot of people don't like the cold cool whites that a lot of these have. I don't have a drama with it for hunting but um, if you're a warm white person you can buy it in warm white. Alright so how do you win this? Um, I've never done a giveaway before so I thought we'll have a go at doing one pretty much. I'm not sure exactly the date this video will be released, but within seven days time, a week's time from this video going live, I will um, draw a winner. Now how I'm going to do that is, on this video that you're watching right now, comment down below, and um, these are the things you have to be to win it. Leave me a comment, be subscribed, like the video, and you can hit the little share button, you know, so even if you're watching on your phone or on your PC, you get a little share, a little arrow icon, share it. You don't have to share it anywhere crazy, just back on YouTube. Doesn't matter if you've got no subscribers and no one sees it, just share the video for me so I can actually check it. And I will check it if you're the winner. Um, so yeah, hit the share button, share it on YouTube, and um, just so, you know, get a bit of traction. But yeah, be subscribed, share it, and leave a comment. Then in that one week's time after this video has gone live, I will do a random number generator, and I'm just going to count down, you know, if there's... 50 people of comments, I'll do one to 50, random number generator, I might even do it live so there's no funny business, but um, and just whoever's comment goes in, it's, it doesn't matter what you say on there, you can tell me why you'd like to win one of these if that's what you want to do, and um, yeah, and then that's it, if that person wins it, I will contact you then, uh, get your shipping details, and I'll post it off the next day, how good is that? So again, a big thank you to um, Army Tech and Ground Force International for sending this Barracuda Pro V2, and forgive me one for you guys to win. So uh, actually, if you want, hit subscribe to their Ground Force International Tube as well, Ground Force International on YouTube as well. That's up to you, but find them because they're a good company and they've got some cool stuff. So do a lot of videos on um, some of the latest thermal stuff, but check them out as well. Anyway, um, I guess that's it. You will see me again in a week's time and I'll tell you who won this torch, who's the lucky person. Anyway, on that note, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And um, if you want to see more stuff like this, maybe some more giveaways in the future, hit the subscribe button. All right, bye for now.